This is Dr. Gertie Chimeka Anyamoke. I am an infectious disease physician and I practice in Baton Rouge and Gonzales, Louisiana. Today's date is March 19th, 2020, and this is a short update on coronavirus disease 2019. By now, you know the World Health Organization has declared coronavirus infection a pandemic and the United States government has declared a national emergency and other governments are taking measures to safeguard their people around the world. As an infectious disease physician, I get asked a lot of questions daily. So today, I'm going to try to answer a few of these questions. These facts are from the CDC. Number one, what do you do if you suspect you have possible symptoms of coronavirus? Unfortunately, in the U.S. today, the coronavirus 2019 test is not readily available, even with your doctor's orders for a myriad of reasons, which I will not bother to explain here. The important thing is to know the common symptoms and what to do. If you have fever or dry cough or any other symptoms, you can self-quarantine in a sick room from others in your home and then call your doctor. However, if you become short of breath or having bluish discoloration of your lip or generally feeling worse or other severe symptoms, call for medical emergency. Number two, how to discontinue self-quarantine? There are two ways you can do this. If you're not going to be tested to find out if you are negative or positive, make sure you meet the following three conditions. One, that you have no fever for three days without taking medications like ibuprofen, Tylenol, or paracetamol, or any other similar medications to lower your fever. Two, that your symptoms have improved. Symptoms like cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, sneezing, etc. Number three, that you've had at least seven or up to 14 days since the beginning of your symptoms. The other way that you can get out of quarantine is if you get tested and you receive two negative tests in a row, at least 24 hours apart, that you have no fevers without the use of medications like ibuprofen, Tylenol, paracetamol, etc. And the third condition, that you have improvement of your symptoms like shortness of breath, cough, body aches, fatigue, sneezing, etc. Number three question, why is coronavirus 2019 different? Coronaviruses are a class of viruses that could affect both humans and other animals. There are many types of human coronaviruses and some like coronavirus 229E or HKU1 or C or OC43 or NL63, they cause mild upper respiratory tract infections, like the common cold. There are others like MERS and SARS, etc., that can cause severe respiratory illnesses. This novel coronavirus, named Coronavirus Disease 2019 by the World Health Organization on February 11, 2020, is a new coronavirus that has not previously been identified and can cause anywhere from no symptoms to mild respiratory disease to severe disease that can lead to even death. Number four, can coronavirus 19 be spread by food whether frozen or otherwise? The answer, the spread of coronavirus 2019 is through respiratory droplets. The infection can be spread from person to person. As at this time, there is no evidence to associate transmission with food. 
the current advice is to wash your hands frequently while handling food, while coughing, while blowing your nose, while sneezing, and after touching objects and surfaces to prevent getting viruses on your face. Generally, the virus may not survive for long on surfaces, so there is less risk of spread, especially when food is shipped over a period of days or weeks at ambient, refrigerated, or frozen temperatures. So, my people, for now, these are the most frequent questions I get asked. I promise to keep these updates for as long as needed. Please, we should all be cautious. Respect social distancing. Listen to our local healthcare experts and keep ourselves and families safe. Thank you for listening. This is Dr. Gertie Chimeka Anyamwoke, Infectious Disease Specialist practicing in Baton Rouge and Gonzalez, Louisiana.